Welcome to this week's edition of KWSB News. I'm your anchor, Lane Carter. And I'm your anchor, Caleb Rutledge. Let's go to Darby and Adam for sports. 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 So, Emily, how do you think softball season went as it coming to a close? It went pretty well. We didn't close as strong as we would have liked with losses to Ava in Houston, but we still finished the season with a record of 12 and 10. All right, how do you think this year's going to go this week? Hopefully they're going to go pretty well. We play our first game on Thursday against the winner of Mountain Grove and Mountain View, and then if we win that, we'll play in the championship on Friday. All right, thank you. So, Coach Perkins, how has your past two games gone? Well, the game versus Mountain View did not go so well. The game versus Salem went pretty good. Uh, we lost Mountain View 70 to nothing, and we lost, we beat uh, Salem 24 to 20. Uh, JJ Cox played a brilliant game against uh, Salem. Had two interceptions, one fumble recovery, several tackles. Um, the interception that he returned in the fourth quarter, he returned all the way for a touchdown, and that was the ball game. We ended up beating him on that uh, interception return. So kudos to Mr. Cox, number 82. He just really turned it up, didn't he? He did. He uh, stepped up like a senior supposed to late in the year. And uh, it's kind of funny, he got to be a captain that day um, for the game and uh, was captain for the game and played like a captain on the field. So, all right. Game. I'm here with my sister. So, Madison, how's volleyball season going? Um, so far, volleyball season, I think, has been pretty good. Um, we obviously have good things and bad things. Um, I mean, it's been a great season. All the girls, they're awesome. I mean, we have our nights that, you know, there's mistakes. In every game, we're going to make mistakes. But then we have our nights that are just uh, they're stellar. So, I heard you have a tournament Saturday, too. How's that, how do you think that's going to go? Um, we have a tournament in Licking on Saturday, yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm hoping for a good outcome, and I know that if we can come together and play together like we know how, it'll, it'll work out to our advantage. And yeah, I heard you have a lot of games this week going on, so how's yeah, that going to be for you? Yeah, uh, this week we have three games. Tonight we play Winona, um, tomorrow we play Liberty as the makeup game, and then Thursday I believe we play Plato. And like I said, you know, I'm looking for a good outcome of all the games this week. And, you know, I mean, we're very capable, so we should be able to. All right, thank you. So, Rebecca, how is tennis going? Uh, it's going pretty good. Um, we uh, just started districts yesterday. We had our uh, district team tournament um, against Forsyth. And um, the last few matches, we won. So how do you think your individual is going? Um, I think that they're going to go pretty good. We're facing some pretty tough teams, um, but I think we're going to give our best and try our hardest. So, Dwayne, how'd the Salem game go? It went, it went okay. I think we could have improved ourselves by doing a lot of other things. Like, we could have given our fullbacks the ball a couple more times in different plays. Just stuff like that. Now, I heard JJ just, he, he took it away. JJ impressed everybody that game. He had a pick six. He had a fumble recovery almost for a touchdown. He, he was just everywhere. All right, thank you. That's it for sports. For KWSB News, I'm Darby Hines. And I'm Adam Carter. Lane, for the story of the Willow Springs Clubs, we have the big JC on the story. Do you mean Jesus Christ? No, I meant Justin and Courtney. Justin and Courtney? Hey Courtney, what are you doing? I'm um, practicing my swing with my new club. Well, that's cool. You have any more clubs? Yeah, they're in that bag over there. The Willow Springs one, right there. Yeah, hi. Awesome. Yeah. Here. So, Katie, how is FCCLA going? FCCLA is going really good. We haven't done a whole lot yet, but we're starting to get into the time where we're going to be gone from school a lot, and we've got a lot of activities coming up. How many members are there? We have around 45 or 50 that came to the meetings. Not all of them have paid their dues yet, but we're hoping they will. Are there any upcoming events? We have our regional meeting in Kabul on October 15th. All right, well, good luck. So, Bailey, how's FBLA going so far? It's going pretty good this year. We had OzFest last week. We did some face paints and sold some decals, and we also had Chamber of Commerce meetings, those are always interesting to go to. We had 
a meeting in Couch with the districts, and that was fun. We had a bunch of activities and got to know other schools. That was fun. How many members are there in FBLA? There's about 19 members this year. Are there any upcoming events? Yes, we have the food harvest going on in November, and we also have Six Flags in, on the 26th. All right, thank you. So, Mr. Kohlmeyer, how's FCA going? It's going pretty well. Uh, currently, we're uh, in the planning stages uh, for the school year, and at this point, it looks like we're going to have a bonfire activity on Friday, October 25th. Uh, there'll be more details on that. We'll put something in the announcements, as well as I think some of the girls are going to come up with a poster. Sounds like a lot of fun. It is. So Alex, how is Mythology Club going so far? It's good. We've had a lot of people. I believe our current count of students is 35. Uh, what do you guys have coming up uh, in the future? Well, we're hopefully going to go see The Hobbit with the Mythology and Film Literacy class. And we're going to work on a mythology game. We made one in the mythology class, but we kind of crept out on it. <laughs> and watch other mythological movies and study it. Sounds like a lot of fun. So, Shelby, how many members are in Chess Club right now? Um, there's around 30, and everybody who participates in neighboring schools around here are invited to the chess tournament that I'm going to be organizing for my senior project. Are there any upcoming events um, in the future? Yeah. We're going to be having a tournament in November. It's going to be in West Plains, and people should show up. Sounds like a lot of fun. So Caleb, how's FFA going so far? Um, it's going really good. As you can see, we have, have a, a lot of involvement in our FFA organization. But um, we've had a, have around 100 members in, our, uh, in Willow Springs FFA this year. And uh, we have this little pet bunny. We have also uh, have uh, pigs out at the school farm. We also have around, uh, we have 10 uh, calves, like out of, feeder calves out at the school farm that we are uh, raising to uh, sell, and uh, we've had uh, a lot of events that we've uh, been participating in, along with uh, Ozfest, which was just last weekend. We had a, a petting zoo with, uh, well, you, Alan, his brother, brought some goats. But uh, there's a lot of, and uh, many people brought calves and a horse, and, and a lot of other animals for uh, kids to to pet. I guess you'd say. Are there any upcoming events? Uh, yes, there's a. Uh, Actually, our biggest trip of the year is uh, we leave on October 30th. It is a national FFA convention where uh, there will be uh, schools from all around the nation. Like There will be like a million people there, it seems like. And you don't want to get lost because everybody's in a blue jacket. But it, it's really it's really cool. It's uh, nice to see uh, how everybody else, how they're farming, what they're farming and lives consist of in different states. All right, well, thank you. So, Mr. Hummel, what is Quiz Bowl? Quiz Bowl is kind of like a club for people who just like answering trivia questions, random topics, and such as that. How many members are in Quiz Bowl right now? We usually have about 15, maybe 20 who come to our meetings. Um, are there any upcoming events in the near future? We just uh, went to a uh, trivia contest at uh, First General Baptist Church here a couple, three weeks ago, and our next one will probably be the SEA contest that comes up in January, I believe it is. I well, hope you guys do good. Thank you. Well, it looks like the clubs are swinging. <laughs> well, for KWSB News, I'm Courtney Deal. And I'm Justin Grove. Well, Caleb, the boys' bathroom has been closed for the past month, but now it's finally reopened. Really? Well, I better go. I've been holding it in all month. Caleb? What? The ban for the guys using the bathroom has finally been lifted. How long that will last? We don't really know. Let's go talk to Mr. Spence about it. Mr. Spence, what are some tips that you would give us to remain our, with our rights to use the bathroom? Well, Caitlin, there are really just two simple tips to keeping your bathroom privileges. Number one, go to the restroom where you are supposed to. There is a urinal supplied for your use. And number two, there is also a toilet supplied for your use. So take care of those two things. Don't throw things on the floor. You'll be fine. And along that same line, the Bears Den bathroom um, has been a mess a couple of days this semester. And um, if that continues to be a mess, 
we're going to have to shut down this bathroom um, again. So please pick up after yourself, or hopefully you don't have to pick up after yourself. Put things where they're supposed to be when you're in the bathroom. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Well, there you have it. Let's try and keep our bathrooms clean. For KWSB, I'm Caleb Douglas. Stay classy, Willow Springs. <laughs> hey, Caleb, did everything come out okay? Not sure. Good, because now that the bathroom is no longer shut down, the government is shut down. Josh? Right. Well, the government is shut down. Let's go ask our anonymous interviewee what this really means. I'm here with an anonymous interviewee. Anonymous interviewee. Can you tell me what it means that the government has shut down? Well, it means they have to have some problems there. They're going to work out some problems. And those problems to most people would be meaningless, but to them it's everything. How does this directly affect us or indirectly affect us? Well, it directly affects us in the fact that we're no longer talking about Syria or some other third world country where atrocities are happening. Instead, we're concerned that Congressmen are being paid, but not really working, just arguing. And when do you think that this entire situation will end? I think it will end when the man in charge gets what he wants. And that one party he referred to as in that one house will concede to the wishes of that other party in the place that's not a house but a Senate. And then it will be over. Or it won't. October 17th is a date of crucial scrutiny concerning a budget of something that's not really that important. Thank you for your insight. That was very enlightening. Thank you, anonymous interviewee. For KJSV News, I'm Joshua Perkins. Stay classy. And now for a word from our Journalism One members. Journalism One. I'm Juby. And I'm Callie. And we're here to report on Roman and Garrett going to space camp. Let's go find out more about it. So, Roman, we heard you went to space camp. What was that like for you? It was real fun. It was a neat experience. Where was space camp held at? Um, it was at Alabama, the space center down there. What was the objectives of space camp? Uh, once we learned all the different stuff, we had to like show how we learned it and apply it and all these different like, goals that give us our objectives. Did they teach you anything about flying? Yeah, they did. There were some jet simulators. What are you going to do with the knowledge you learned at Space Camp? I'm not sure. Because of my vision, I can't like join the military or anything, but that's something I'd kind of like to do if I could. Did you have fun? Yes, I did. I had a lot of fun. So, Gary, I heard that you recently went to Space Camp. How was that? It was pretty fun. I uh, went to aviation side of it. There was two different branches. We got to fly jets and build fires. What do you plan on doing with this knowledge? I plan on going further and doing leadership pro projects. Where was this held? Uh, this was held in Huntsville, Alabama. Was it a very long trip? Yes, it was an 11 hour drive. Very long. How long did you guys stay there? About a week, six days. Did you have fun? Yes. I had lots of fun. Okay, thank you. Yep. I'm Juby. And I'm Callie, and we're recording for KWSB. Sarah Coons recently entered a project for the Christos house. Um, let's go see what she has to say about it. We're here with Sarah Coons to ask her about her Christos house project. So what does this project represent? It, re it represents coming out of the uh, darkness. As, you, as many people know, Christmas House is for a home for women and children who have been abused by family members. And the art piece is to represent coming out of that darkness and into the lot better days, the light of day. Okay, I'm Gina Wood. And I'm Shay Miller. And this has been KWSB. Senior Spotlight with Nicole. Nicole? This week's edition of Senior Spotlight is themed about animals. Let's go check it out. I like the T-Rex because everyone thinks they're mean, but maybe they just want a little bit of love. Uh, probably like a T-Rex because it's got like little arms and it's kind of just funny. You make fun of it. A pterodactyl. Why? Because it flies.
I would name it Mr. Fluffy, so that way if it was really vicious, everyone would underestimate it. I don't know, it, it, it depends on what kind of animal, like if it was more of a lizard type of animal, I'd have to come up with something really cool like Godzilla, I don't know. <laughs> Stupid guy to read the book of Huda. Why? Because it goes raw. Ring a ding ding. Ding a ding ding. That's what the fox says. A bunch of annoying sounds, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> what does the fox say? That is the question. For KWSV News, I'm Nicole McGrath. Well, that's all for this week. From KWSB, I am your anchor, Lane Carter. And I'm your anchor, Caleb Rutledge.